Now we are going to consider further states of matter. Remember we've looked at solids, like we have solids here, and we know the characteristics of solids, don't we? What are those characteristics of solids? I'm sure you can figure that out, or the different characteristics. You can figure those out. They have their own shape and press downwards. You can see all these solids have their own shapes and they all press downwards. You can feel them, they all press downwards. Now, we want to see if all solids are actually the same. Now, I have this solid, let me see, I'm applying pressure. Hmm. The same, the same, still maintains its shape no matter how hard I press it. Let me see. The same thing applies to this. No matter how hard I press it, it doesn't change its shape. And this one, hmm. I'm pressing on it. No matter the amount of pressure I apply, they retain their shapes. Now let's try this one. I want to apply pressure here. Hmm. When I apply pressure, hmm, it has changed the shape. And let me try this one. Apply pressure. The shape is changed. When I remove my hand, it returns to its original shape. Let me also try this one. Let me apply pressure. Hmm. The shape is changed. Let me remove the pressure. It returns its original shape. So clearly we can see that these solids are not all the same. The ones that keep their shape no matter how much pressure I apply, like these ones, these are called rigid. They are rigid solids. Rigid comes from the Latin word rigidus meaning stiff they are actually stiff these solids are stiff they don't change their shape at all no matter how hard I apply pressure so these are rigid now solids like this one when i apply pressure the shape changes and when i remove the pressure it returns to its original shape and this one, when I apply pressure, the shape changes. When I remove the pressure, it returns to its original shape. Solids like this are called elastic. Elastic comes from the Greek word elastos, and it means to recover. They recover their shapes when the pressure is removed. Solids like this one that on applying pressure their shapes change and even after the pressure has been removed the shape is changed permanently so even with the removal of the pressure they retain the new shape they don't recover to their original shape such solids are called plastic so this is a plastic solid you can see it retains its shape, this new shape, even after the pressure is removed. Plastic is from the Greek word plasticos, meaning to form or to mold. So it's your own turn now to explore your environment and see the different solids you have in the environment and determine whether they are rigid, plastic or elastic.